What is good YouTube? What's to you here with a video on the Batman movie? Now I'm not going to call it the Batman movie 2021 anymore at the moment because they haven't been shooting for weeks. We don't know when they're going to shoot. The director doesn't know when they're going to shoot. But recently there was an interview with Matt Reeves about his vision for Batman what is going to happen is Batman and he gave away a lot of details without really giving anything away so if you are new around here make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the pop culture based content that we do around here on the channel so let's break it down so as we said at the start of the video Matt Reeves has recently conducted an interview to talk about the Batman movie what is happening with it because they're not allowed to shoot at all until the UK government tells them they're allowed to because obviously they're shooting in England so it's not just a case of whether Warner Bros studio wants to start working they're not allowed to until the country's government that they are shooting out of tells them that they can start shooting again so it is very very interesting so there is an interview on collider.com where he had the following to say I want it to do not an original tale but a tale that would still acknowledge his origins in that it formed who he is like this guy he's majorly struggling and this is how he's trying to rise above the struggle reeves explain but that doesn't mean that he isn't even fully understands you know it's the whole idea of the shadow self what's driving you and how much of that can you incorporate and how much of it you're doing that you're unaware of so whilst pattinson's take on the character isn't old and isn't glizzled like affleck it does sound like the batman will pick up with the character having already donned the cape and cow but through his struggles, we learn why he put the suit on to begin with. So as we know, this movie is being made by Matt Reeves, who did work on the War of the Planet Ape. So what is interesting is the filmmaker added that when he initially pitched the Batman film to Warner Bros, he had the following to say, I'm going to pitch the version of Batman that I would do, which is going to have a human humanistic bend and who knows if they have any interest if they don't then i won't do it and i'll be okay reeves explained i was really lucky that they said yes in addition to the humanism the other major thrust of peace will be the corruption as it relates to gotham city so it does reveal what the driving force behind this actual movie is going to be it's so freaking cool guys that we've got some real news to talk about for once when it comes to the, the batman so he also went on to say this there's something in there that feels very psychological very emotional and it felt like there was a way of exploring that along with the corruption in the, this place gotham that feels very current. I think it always does. There's almost no time when it can't do a story about corruption, but today it still seems incredibly resident. And maybe from my perspective, maybe more so than maybe at other times. Given how resident Reeves was able to make the Apes movie, I think Batman is in great hands here. The film is still scheduled to be released on June the 21 obviously 2021 but production was shut down over you know what so i'm not expecting this movie to come out on time because everything has been shifted all the marvel movies that will be shooted had been shifted so if you go to the start of the cycle it actually sounds pretty cool it sounds like we may have saved from having to watch thomas and martha perish for the 20,000th time which is cool so it seems like it's going to be a batman who's already had a bit of experience so to speak so it's not going to be a zero year batman it's gonna be batman that's got some kind of experience which is interesting because when they do reboot these movies it's always oh my god we're gonna to have to get this scene again it's almost like when they do spider-man it's like oh my god they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna do the uncle again they're gonna do the uncle again so what is interesting is the batman was originally supposed to be affleck's standalone movie where we were going to see 
Batman versus Slade Wilson, not to be confused with Wade Wilson, Deadpool, the ripoff of Deathstroke. So originally Deathstroke was supposed to be in this. So it is interesting how he said he pitched it as an original idea when originally this movie was supposed to be directed and wrote and I guess co-worked with Matt Reeves. But then then I decided that he, he really he didn't want to be Batman anymore because it just wasn't worth it to him. So it's going to be very interesting to see where this project goes. As we know at the moment, there isn't really that much fact. fact we're talking factual information, not Reddit posts. Are we talking factually speaking information? There really isn't that much going about. So it is very interesting to find the humanity that's going to be, which in some kind of way it, it does show you. At that the plot will be driven by the corruption in Gotham, which the corruption in Gotham was a pinnacle part of the Gotham TV show. So you can't really do a Batman storyline or a Batman movie without talking about corruption in Gotham because corruption will keep and keep coming. So I found this post which... It's actually pretty interesting, seeing as there isn't really much factual news going around. It's Matt Reeves talking about more on the Batman, his approach, his influences, and how it compares to his series of Tales from the Loop. So let's break it down. Well, not really. Let's go over it. So, so the question is like this. Is it that really possible on a film like The Batman where many masters have to be served? Of course, these things have to be mined in a way that can make these companies money. You never know whether the people in charge of these IPs, intellectual properties, are going to be open to your vision. But if they weren't, I wouldn't have done The Batman. I was like, look, there have been some great Batman films and I don't want to make just a Batman film. I want to do something that has some emotional state. My ambition is for it to be incredibly personal. Using the metaphors of the world, it feels like this really odd throwback to the movies I came up from the 70s, like Chinatown. I'm not saying we're achieving anything like that. Those are masterpieces, but that's the ambition. So he is very forward with telling the audience that this is not going to be The Dark Knight. This is not going to be another interpretation of someone else's movie. This is going to be a fresh take on The Batman. And it's going to be a completely different origin story. Although he acknowledges there will be some origin, it is not an origin. It's a Batman that is somewhat had a bit of experience but he's going to tell you through the emotion through the presidents through the corruption within the movie so and through the humanity it sounds very very different and although we're in a kind of a bit of a weird situation in the world at the moment it is pretty awesome that he has kind of told us some plot points so the corruption in gotham so there's a theory going around that like essentially gotham typically has a pretty big gap in classes however batman is taking this to the extreme what if the class difference is so wide that the citizens and gothams the police and the media are forced to use old vehicles now what is interesting uh i, I read this i read this on bat source on twitter so full credit to him is it is pretty interesting how everyone said this movie was going to be set in the past and then you see iphones now, I think this theory here is crazy, but I guess it is from Bat Source's Twitter page, so full credit to you. I think it's a very interesting theory. Now, it is very interesting how when you look over the casting for every one on this specific movie, then you go over the way he said it's a completely different origin movie an origin tale, an original tale. And it's like, would it make sense now why he casted everyone he casted? Why he casted Jeffrey Wright for Commissioner Gordon, who wasn't specifically who most people thought would be Commissioner Gordon, but I think he would do a good, great role. The same with Catwoman, etc. So I'm really fascinated to find out what is popping and what is good YouTube in this Batman movie. And it's fascinating that in this time of trials and tribulations, you know what's going on in the world at the moment. They can't even shoot a movie. It's pretty darn crazy. So Matt Reeves also, he's had a bunch of interviews recently. So Matt Reeves talks about the Batman movie being shut down. And he had the following to say. The whole thing is quite surreal, said Reeves. As much as we wanted to proceed, we wanted to make sure we were safe. We didn't want anyone on our crew to get sick. But there was a crew member who actually got it. An incredible coach named Andrew Jack. And he passed away. 
We were all in utter shock and heartbroken. It's been weeks since we shut down. So I don't think it was past a month's crew, but it's very, very upsetting. So it is, it's a weird situation to be in. You start shooting the Batman movie, everyone's excited. And then a couple of weeks in, you're literally forced to shut down because you can't shoot the movie. Now, Reeves was asked if he contemplated returning to the set yet. He confirmed that, yeah, of course, I wanted to come back when the time is right. I've worked on a few things where for various reasons you have to stop for the moment a, a cast member gets sick and you have to shut down for a week you can take stock for what you've done and prepare for what's coming i don't think it's a moment where i'm going why aren't we shooting i'm thinking there are bigger things so matt reese seems like a pretty down-to-earth guy seems pretty cool seems like he there's no rush because it doesn't really matter if warner bros studios have to delay this movie because it's pretty evident they they will delay it so i personally think this movie does reveal some pretty darn big things for the movie it reveals essentially that gotham it is going to be dealt in a way of corruption, which which is pretty interesting. It's it's very interesting how they've never really tackled corruption in a big way, and it also reveals how it's a personal story. It's not a generic kind of oh we're going to see Batman's parents die, then he's going to become Batman, and then he, the transformation. It seems like Batman's already going to be there. I really hope we do get some flashback scenes to him, obviously having the transformation towards Batman, but. I'm very excited to see what is popping and what is good with this movie. So whilst recording this video, yeah, we might as well talk about it, guys. We might as well talk about it. So the YouTuber Grace Randolph, who is well connected in the industry, she's appeared in the movie, she has Hollywood sources, she's been right about a bunch of stuff in the past. She's also been wrong about a bunch of stuff. She tweeted this today. Here's some tea for you. Warner Bros. is still making a standalone DCEU Batgirl movie. It will have a different Commissioner Gordon, not Jeffrey Wright. The Batman exists in a vacuum like the Joker. So is this true? We don't know. It could be true. DC are trying to do standalone movies and not really trying to connect anything even though everything still technically connects to the Justice League movie and Zack Snyder's movie obviously Shazam definitely does I mean there's, there's the Batman vs Superman Batarangs in the background I mean Henry Cavill's stunt double lookalike walks in so why would they make a Batgirl that's got nothing to do with the Robert Pattinson movie it, it kind of is a bit weird but it is interesting so like always guys I've addressed that for you like always, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will catch you in that next video.